my brother, Dr. Matthew Star Timotheus, the top of the UK Europe African Isis, our and priest, we are the beloved and my beloved children. First of all, I congratulate your Triveni for having organized a meeting of this type for the youngsters of the first. As a class of respect, I just want to have it. He did an excellent job. In 1985, after my assuming charge of Chagandur Diocese, my first concentration was on the children. I took the charge of the Chagandur Diocese on 1st August 1985. The coming December, December 1st Sunday, is always the feast of St. John the Baptist. Under the Veda Vaira Vagatur Vaki Vulla, E. Paidal Prashe Arai Thira, Yan Vigari Ayam Nausaradil, Yan Janaka Sradil Kundan the Gari Vaira, the number of Pujanga like Kundan the Gari Vaira, Savai Kundaganam, Doi Kundaganam, Madhavida Kundaganam, and the other. Other than the Adisar, the Jagan of the Rasa Lukatari Aju, December first Sunday shall be the Children's Day in our diocese. And it was celebrated, and I wanted all the agents to report how they have celebrated it. And I got the report. One special thing was 3,095 children from my diocese took holy kurban on that particular day. I was so much happy about it. After a few weeks, when the then Kadurigos Matthews first visited one of my parishes, he happened to see this kalpana. Without consulting everyone, in the next February Synod, he brought this to the notice of the other bishops and it was discussed in the Holy Synod and the church declared the first Sunday of December as the children day in the whole church. My first concentration was on the children. Tirveni is very closely following my footsteps. I am watching it from a distance and this is an excellent, this is the first time so many children were assembled, uh, gathered at one place in the presence of Thiruveni. It's an excellent beginning and I find a, a, an excellent future for this diocese. 1987, when I came first to UK, there was only one center for our church, Holy Kurbana. Now there are 23 places where our Holy Kurbana uh, is regularly being done. That shows progress. After the consecration of the Bristol Church, I made a small speech where I said to my Westerners, some of the Europeans were also there, I said, in the 17th, 18th, 19th centuries, the West was conquering the East. Now it is our turn, we are conquering the West. And that is why, you know, we have so many pioneers here under the able leadership of Trimani, I am sure, this dice will come up and uh, um, lead the whole church also in the future. I am, I am confident about this. I also remember in 1986, um, 66, when I first landed in Gujarat with a UGC scholarship to do my postgraduate studies in MS University of Baroda, in the entire state of Gujarat there are only four places where we have one service a month. If I count it, if I mention it from the south, Baroda, Ahmedabad, Jamnagar and Gardida. All these centers were organized by Stefano Swar Devadosu Srimeni when he was Father K.K. Matthew uh, uh, and working as Aston Vigar of Dadar Parish. Now, all the other parishes in the entire state of Gujarat, I have organized. So when I see a new parish coming up in any part of the world, I am delighted, I am excited because our church is growing. I always tell my uh, friends, you are the growing frontier of our church. Wherever you go, you know, you first think about a, a worship service, a center for our worship, you are the growing frontier of our church. Number of Savayana, Varadana, Adamthi, Varayana, Chidari Bharata, Ningal, Oriyavar, Chidari Bharata. 
ഒരു കാലത്ത് കേരളത്തിൽ മാത്രം ഒതുങ്ങിയിരുന്ന സഭ ഇന്ന് ലോകത്തിൻ്റെ എല്ലാ ഭാഗത്തുമായിട്ട് വളർന്ന് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ സഭയുടെ ഒരു ഇമേജ് കൂടുതലായിട്ട് മറ്റുള്ളവർ മനസ്സിലാക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു അവസരം കൂടി ഇതാണ് കഴിഞ്ഞ തിങ്കളാഴ്ച നടന്ന മീറ്റിങ്ങിൽ ഞാനും പങ്കെടുക്കുകയുണ്ടായി പലരും അതിനെക്കുറിച്ച് അഭിനന്ദിച്ച് സംസാരിക്കാൻ എനിക്ക് നേരിട്ട് കേൾക്കാൻ സാധിക്കുകയുണ്ടായി നമ്മുടെ സഭയുടെ ഒരു ഇമേജ് പ്രൊജക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിന് അവിടെ സാധിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ളൊരു സത്യം മാത്രമാണ് തിരുവേണ്ട നേതൃത്വത്തിൽ അത് കൂടുതലായിട്ട് ഇടയാകട്ടെ എന്ന് ആശംസിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് ആ ഭാഗം നടത്തുന്നു ഇന്നിവിടെ സർക്കാർ സ്കൂൾ വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളുടെ കഴിവുകൾ വികസിപ്പിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്ത ഒരു ഒരു പ്രവർത്തനം വേണ്ടി ഞാൻ കാണുന്നുണ്ട് ഞാൻ ദീർഘകാലം വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളുമായി ഇടപെട്ട ഒരാളെന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്ക് വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളുടെ വളർച്ചയിൽ കൂടുതൽ താല്പര്യം കാണിക്കുന്ന ഒരു വ്യക്തിയാണ് ഞാൻ അനേക വിദ്യാർത്ഥികളെ ഞാൻ കൈപിടിച്ച് വളർത്തിയിട്ടുണ്ട് എൻ്റെ സ്കൂളിൽ അസംബ്ലിയിൽ നടക്കുന്ന ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് ആക്ടിവിറ്റീസ് ഒന്ന് പ്രാർത്ഥന കഴിഞ്ഞിരുന്നാൽ ഉടനെ സീനിയർ അധ്യ അധ്യാപകരുടെ സീനിയോറിറ്റിക്കനുസരിച്ച് വന്ന് ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു വിഷയത്തെക്കുറിച്ച് ക്ലാസ്സിൽ പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്ന വിഷയമല്ല പുറത്തുനിന്നുള്ള മൂന്ന് മിനിറ്റ് സംസാരിക്കണമെന്ന് ഞാൻ ഇട്ടേക്കുന്ന പേരാണ് പോസ്റ്റ് പ്രയർ ടോക്ക് ബൈ ദ സീനിയർ ബൈ ദ ടീച്ചേഴ്സ് ദെൻ ഫ്രം ദ സീനിയർ ബോയ്സ് ഇൻ വൺ ബോയ് വിൽ കം ഓർ ഗേൾ വിൽ കം ആൻഡ് ടോക്ക് ഫോർ ടു മിനിറ്റ്സ് പോസ്റ്റ് പ്രയർ ടോക്ക് വൺ ഡേ വെൻ ഐ വാസ് പാസിങ് ത്രൂ മൈ ദി അസംബ്ലി ഏറിയ ആഫ്റ്റർ ബിക്കമിങ് എ ബിഷ വൺ ഗേൾ എ മലയാളി ബൈ നെയിം മീര മേനോൻ ഷീ വാസ് റിസൈറ്റിങ് എ പോയം ഐ സ്റ്റുഡ് ദയർ ഫോർ എ മിനിറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ലിസൺ ദെൻ ഐ റിയലൈസ് ദ ദർ ഇസ് സം ലിറ്റിൽ സബ്സൻസ് ഇൻ ദ പോയം ഐ ടോൺ ദ പിയോണ് ഇൻ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദ അസംബ്ലി ടെൽ ദർ ടു സീ മീ ഇൻ മൈ ഓഫീസ് ഷീ ഇമീഡിയറ്റ്ലി റിപ്പോർട്ടഡ് ഇൻ ടു മൈ ഓഫീസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഐ ആസ്റ്റ് മീര വാസ് മീര did you compose this poem or you have copied from somewhere she said father i have composed it let me see that manuscript i went through the whole thing there was some little substance in it the previous week only in the refinery town she be celebrated national integration week she got some inspiration she wrote a poem the title is awake young indians every sense i entered with this awake young indians in one sense as the demons last year when we celebrated holi we were sprinkling colors and celebrating this year we could only uh, spread blood and celebrate it there was some communal violence in some part of north india she was lamenting about it i sent her back to the classroom and called my typist i said he type it she gave me a number of copies I called Meera and gave her a, a, a number of copies. I kept three, four with me. Without her knowledge, I sent one copy to the then Prime Minister of India, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi, with my cover letter. You may be always worried about the tensions going on in different parts of the country, but there are young people like Meera who think about the national integration. And probably I, I got the reply from the Prime Minister's office. I was sitting in my office in the afternoon. I got a letter from the Prime Minister's office. Inside you know, there was another letter from Veera. I called her. The school was on the clear at 12.30. I rang her and said, Veera, you come down immediately. When she entered my room, I said, there is a letter for you from the Prime Minister of India. She opened the letter in my presence. I could see the expression on her face. And the next day it was announced in our assembly. then it uh, when we knew about this they published their bulletin and there was a lot of publicity 87 when i was here it was before that somebody translated the whole thing and published in malayalam and there was sunday supplement somebody rang me and said your one child's poem has come up a way young indians from that day onwards my children all started writing poems when i pass through the corridor they will come with a small paper and the father i compose i wrote this even if it is rubbish i said it's very good fine go ahead and two other poems you know of a standard was written by my children uh, all our malayalis one is smita unni she wrote a poem the title is why do the nails grow she asked this question to her father the father was giving an answer that was the text of the poem the philosophy was human beings 
They want to attack each other and kill each other. That is why the name is grown. That is her philosophy. And then another girl, now she is in America, from our own church, and um, she is a physiotherapist, and she is got married and working in Texas. She wrote another stone. What is there to say about much about stone? She said, I got a stone which was lying in the bottom of the ocean for thousands of years. But I broke it open. Inside, I could not find even a drop of water. Then she was giving a big philosophy. There are people in this world surrounded by good people, water. But in them, there is no sympathy for others, love for others. She was bringing in something. All started because I spent ten minutes of my life to encourage one child. Even after my bypass surgery in 2006, I was taking rest in one of my schools in Gujarat. There's a small aramana there, Basil Bhavan, and I was sitting there in the veranda. There was a pair of um, tree you know, on one corner. I saw some two hummingbirds coming and making a nest. Every three months I was staying there. I saw the progress, the nest was completed, the bird, the bird you know, laid the eggs and it was hatched and chicks, chicks were inside, started feeding it you know, from honey with, from other places. Then immediately when the assembly was going on, I sent a message. After the assembly, let the nine standard children come and see me here. They all came. They stood, boys and girls on both the sides. I asked them, do you find anything on this tree? They said, there is a nest. Some two birds are coming and feeding the chicks. If this nest was somewhere outside, what would have been the fate of this nest and the birds and the chicks? They said, no, somebody must have killed it. Why is it that it is safe here? After a, a pause, you know, one girl said, because it is near your house. I clarified it and said, I am a sannyasi. The presence of a sannyasi makes a difference. Now I want all of you to write a poem, a sonnet, 40 lines. On this, I said, for the best poem, I give a prize. But I gave three prizes. So, every child when born into this world, God gives some gifts. The fullest development of that is what is called education. And even in Sunday school also, we had to assess the child, what are the um, uh, innate talents of the child, that is to be fully developed. That is the responsibility of the church, the, the parents, Sunday school teachers, the school authorities, and because they are the, the, the future of our nation. I always, when I look at this, I, I, I always also remember in 1960 when I landed in Baroda only, the famous Kothari Commission report about edu in education came out. Being a student of education, I immediately purchased a copy. In the first page of that report, there was a sentence which has gone deep into my mind. It is like this. The destiny of our nation is shaped in the classrooms. The future of our church is shaped in our Sunday schools. I want all the parents, Sunday school teachers, and even also the priests to keep this in mind and work. You have a bright future for these guys especially under Thirimeni, and I wish all the best for you, all of you, especially for the children. Thank you all very much.